this video, I want to talk to you about how to set up self pickup. That's curbside, drive through, or in store pickup option for your brick and mortar store. I'm over here under the configuration menu on shipping and pickup, and here at the bottom, you'll see self pickup. Click the add pickup button, and you'll see the options that you have. You can change the location label from self pickup to anything you want. And that's the text that will appear for this option in the delivery section of the checkout process. So let's go ahead and change that to curbside pickup just so you'll see what I mean. The information you enter here will be viewed at checkout and in a confirmation email that's sent out. You'll note you have your WYSIWYG editor so you can add far more than just text in here. You can add images. You could even add a video of your storefront and people pulling up and picking up their items. Now, since this is a curbside pickup option, you might want to add information about what they should do when they do pull up. Should they call a number? Should they park in a particular place? Be sure to include all the instructions they'll need to have a quick and successful pickup of what they've purchased. At a bare minimum, you should have the pickup location and your business hours when you allow for pickups. You can add an extra pickup charge if you want. And you can also even ask for a pickup date and time at checkout. This allows your customers to set the date and time when they'll come by the store. So let's turn that one on and you'll immediately see the default business hours. Go ahead and update those. So we're not open on Sunday and on Saturday, we're only open until noon. Again, anything you need there. Order fulfillment time means how long is it going to take you to get that order ready? So if I'm around the corner and I order online and I check off self pickup, will it be ready for me when I'm there in five minutes? Well, that's pretty rare. So you can update this to be any 15 minute increment within an hour, a few hours, a few days, and then even specify a custom time frame. Just for fun, I'm going to click one day. Well, I'm going to click add pickup option. And you'll note pickup option has been added. And of course, you can add more than one self pickup option. For instance, the feed store where I live offers both curbside pickup and in store pickup when you want to buy food for your animals. Well, let's add another self pickup option and let's call this in store pickup. I can add any detailed instructions for this particular option as well. And of course, I can do the same as I did before by adding a pickup date and time at checkout and having that delay before they can come into the store to pick up their product. Just for simplicity, I'm going to click add pickup option. The option has been added. Now let's update my pizza product. Scrolling down, I'm going to click on pizza. And let's just say I don't have a delivery guy and I can't obviously ship pizza in the mail. So I'm going to specify shipping methods for this product. Now this option does require a venture or above plan. Click specify shipping methods and click and add curbside pickup. Click again and add in-store pickup. Click save. And now when I order a pizza, I have the choice in-store pickup. There's the instructions or curbside pickup. And there are the instructions there with the pickup date and time. So Equid gives you tremendous flexibility on in-store, self-pickup, curbside pickup, whatever kind of pickup options you need.